Optifine, it is great for reducing lag in Minecraft, but there's a lot of settings and a lot of things that can affect your performance in game. Luckily, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up Optifine to reduce lag and increase your FPS. Now, first things first, you will need Optifine. Luckily, we've got a link in the description down below to here. This is a complete and super in-depth guide on downloading, installing, and setting up Optifine. It covers troubleshooting issues. It even talks about increasing FPS with a dedicated video on doing that. However, we're gonna be covering that in this video as well. Now, with that being said, once you've got Optifine, don't open it right away. Instead, start in the Minecraft launcher here. Now, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you wanna click on installations because once you click on installations, you can see Optifine. If you don't have Optifine, just make sure this uh, modded is checked, and then you will. Come over here, right click, or not right click, click on these three dots, and click edit. This is where you can kind of edit the behind the scenes of your Optifine installation. Now first things first, I'm going to set my resolution to 1920 by 1080 That's because it's going to be easier for you to see once we're in Minecraft if I do that. But, should you? Honestly, no. The lower your resolution is, the more FPS you're going to get. So 800 by 600 is technically going to give you more FPS than, well, 2560 by 1440. But it's also at the expense of Minecraft looking very bad, really. It's going to make the window very small. So kind of choose what works best for you in here, but no, the lower these numbers, the better. Also in here, though, we have more options. And when we click on that, we can scroll down, and, and at the front here, we have XMX2G. This is how much RAM is dedicated to Minecraft. By default, it is 2 gigabytes. Now, for 99% of people, that is enough, but if your computer has, for example, at least 8 gigabytes of RAM on it, you can go in here and change this to xmx 4G, and that means it's going to be 4 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. If you have less than 8 gigs of RAM, don't do this. Even if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you may have issues with this, and if you have weird random stuff start happening when you're playing Minecraft, just come in here and, uh, you know, lower this back to 2 gigabytes. If you have 16 gigs of RAM, you won't have any problems. But that's the uh, two things that you can do in the Minecraft launcher easily to kind of start helping lag even before we launch into Minecraft with Optifine, which we're going to go ahead and do. And while this is opening up, how about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below and break down .xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love Apex so much that we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And if you have any issues with your Apex server, they have 24 hours seven day a week support to help you out so if you want to start a server look no further than apex minecraft hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex now first things first we want to get a baseline here so what is our fps before this all started now the easiest way to see this is actually go into options and then go into video settings and then go into other then we have this show fps option turn this on and your fps will show in the top left of minecraft when we're in game Let's go ahead and then click done and go into Minecraft single player. By default, we'll be able to see what our FPS is. And it's worth noting that the first number we see here is the average. So that first number of 57, 80 is going up, as you can see, is the average FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. For me, it seems to be stabilizing around 255. The bottom number, that next number, is the lowest FPS over a certain period of time. I don't know what it is exactly, but it is the minimum FPS we've gotten. And for me, that is, it's kind of hopping around, but it looks like it's going to be about 170 is a safe number. I'd rather shoot low than high on that. So go ahead, write those down for you. And at the end of this video, comment and let us know how much of an FPS boost you get from this. Let's go ahead and save and quit here. And then we're going to go to options video settings. Now, this is where all the magic happens. This is where we can change everything and really make things look better in Minecraft. So before we do that, let's just go ahead and zoom in because it's a lot easier for you to see once we do so. And then we can move on to our graphics settings. Now, what we want to do is change these to fast. That's going to obviously make graphics faster and increase the FPS. For render distance, turn it all the way down to two to get started. Every single one of the settings in here, you can come back and change later. For example, if you're like me, you would be upping your render distance to at least eight after you've gotten in game and see no lag with two. But first, turn everything down all the way, set it up to where if you are running a potato computer, you could run Minecraft. Smooth lighting, need to turn that off. Simulation distance, turn that all the way down. Smooth lighting, same thing all the way down. Frame rate, actually turn that to unlimited. The reason being, we want to get the most FPS possible just to see what's up. Oddly though, if you're seeing your FPS fluctuate quite a bit once you get in game, you can limit this to 60 or even 30 FPS and still get a very playable Minecraft without that FPS hopping. 
GUI scale doesn't really affect lag too much, entity shadows should be turned off, brightness doesn't really affect it too much, same thing with the attack indicator. Dynamic lights need to be turned off because, well, they are just laggy. Now, even fast is still more laggy than off, so we wanna make sure those are off. Dynamic FOV, I don't like FOV, but it's up to you and needs to be turned to whatever you want. For shaders, any shaders packs are gonna cause tons of lag. We have guides on increasing FPS with shaders, but overall, shaders packs are way more laggy than no shaders packs. So go ahead and make sure that is set to off because, well, no shaders is better than any in regards to FPS. Click done, closes out of that, and then we can move on to the quality tab. Here we want to set mip map levels to off, we want to set the mip map type to nearest, anthroscopic filtering needs to be off, anti-aliasing needs to be off, emissive textures, turn those off, random entities doesn't really affect performance too much, you can turn it off, but if it really is not going to change your FPS too much. Better grass needs to be turned to fast, better snow needs to be turned on, custom fonts, again, not going to really affect your performance too much, custom colors, turn those off. Now, one thing worth noting here is that that can mess up texture packs, and truthfully, turning off texture packs can increase performance, but overall, if you do want to use a texture pack, you might want to leave that on. Connected textures, turn that off. Natural textures, turn that off as well. Custom sky, you can leave that on, but again, it's going to affect your texture packs, whether or not that's on or off. Same thing with custom items. I'm turning it off, but you may want to leave it on if you're using a texture pack. Same thing with entity models. And last but not least, the custom GUIs. You guessed it, same thing. If you want all of your texture pack results, you want to leave that on. Distortion effects need to be set to your preference. Same thing for FOV effects. It does not matter what you set those to, so just whatever you want. Next up, we can go on to the Details tab, and in here, we want to go ahead and set clouds to fast. The cloud height is up to you. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn cloud height off. Trees set to smart, and this is going to give you the higher quality trees with a lot of the faster benefits. Trees look very, very bad on the fast setting, so usually smart works for most people. Rain and snow needs to be overall turned off, but if you like it like I do, you can turn it to fast, and it will perform a lot better. Sky needs to be turned off. Star needs to be turned off. Sun and moon, I love the sun and moon. Refuse to turn that off even though it will make minecraft a hair a bit faster i leave it on though show caves can be turned off fog can be turned off fog start doesn't matter because we turn the fog off view bobbing is your personal preference same for held item tooltips autosave indicator i turn that on because if you're lagging every time the autosave happens we can change the autosave later to happen less frequently so leaving that on lets you know kind of what's going on there Next up is Swamp Colors. Those need to be turned off. Vignette needs to be turned too fast. Alternate Blocks is in regards to your resource packs. As you can see, use Alternate Block Models for some blocks. Depends on selected resource packs. So I'm going to turn those off. We're not using a resource pack, but if you are and having issues, that might be why. Entity Distance needs to be turned all the way down, and Biome Blend needs to be turned off. Click Done there, and we can move on to the Performance tab. Now, this one's a bit different, because instead of turning everything off, we're basically turning everything on. Render regions, fast render, smart animations, fast math, smooth FPS, and smooth world should all be turned on. That is, except if you're like me, and smooth world should be turned off. Now, you might be asking, what, what do you mean if I'm, you're like me? Well, the reason we're turning smooth world off is I want to see what that, I want to get over a thousand FPS, right? And to do that, smooth world needs to be turned off. It's actually going to stabilize your FPS and limit it from going as high as it could. Usually that's a good thing, but if you want to see what the max FPS you can get, turn smooth world off. Smooth FPS is actually the same thing, except it can work on servers more reliably and things like that. So I'm actually gonna turn that off as well. You should probably turn both of these on for the best performance, but I wanna get the most FPS. Chunk updates need to be set to one. Dynamic updates need to be left on. Lazy chunk loading needs to be turned on and chunk builder needs to be semi blocking. From there, we can move to animations. And this is my favorite tab because all you've got to do is click all off. That's simple, right? Just click all off, boom. As you can see, everything turns off. Particles turn to minimal, we're done. Click done there. And then on the other tab, show FPS, we mentioned at the beginning of this video, we'll leave that on. Weather is another thing to consider. Do you want it on or off? Off is going to be faster. If you like weather, you can leave it on. Something else worth mentioning is the autosave. And the autosave is what I was talking about is when it comes up and autosaves, if you're getting lag every time that happens, you can set this to more frequently, even up to 24 minutes. By default, I believe it's gonna be like uh, 45 seconds. So yeah, you can kind of see how that differs. I usually set it to six minutes because I can lose six minutes of work in Minecraft without being too discouraged. On top of that, we also have our full screen here. If you want to turn Minecraft full screen, you can. And the lower this resolution down here, the more you're going to get as far as FPS goes. So full screen with the resolution all the way down, Minecraft's not going to look great, but it is going to provide 
more FPS. At this point though, we can go ahead and click done, click done, all the way back out. Let's jump back into that same single player world. Now remember, before we had an average FPS, the first number of 255. We had a minimum FPS of 170. And if we turn around here, look at that, 1,800 average FPS, minimum FPS of over 700. So as you can see, I can easily go in, up settings, things like that. My PC has a great graphics card, great CPU, all of that stuff. So it's not an issue for me to go in and increase the settings here and get a lot more out of Minecraft. For example, the first thing I would do, because this is actually rather playable, is up this to 16 chunks in the render distance. That's quite a bit, but... I can handle it. And as you can see, I'm getting still well over 500 or 400 FPS consistently, even with that much higher render distance. But anyway, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below or join our community support discord because over there, there's an awesome community here to help you out as well as I'm in there quite often helping people out as well. So if you have any questions, let us know on the community discord or in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and enjoy your newly optimized Optifine. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.